Hi, I'm Michelle from Michelle Motivate Me and on my YouTube channel I have received some comments about my know-it-all video and in the dealing with difficult people playlist. So some of you feel that uh, well, what, Sam Kerr's is a person on YouTube who said that I was basically telling people to bend over. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. And I realized that maybe I did go a little too nice with that video and I need to be a little bit more, um, I need to be stronger. I need to tell you what to do when you're dealing with an aggressive know-it-all. And then be nice uh, asked for some help on that too and then I also had another person asking about what if the difficult person is your mother so there are some really challenging situations uh, in this video I just want to tackle the aggressive know-it-all and then maybe in another video I'll deal with the uh, mother issue because that takes us into a whole nother world yeah I'll deal with that separately. Okay, so the aggressive know-it-all. What's the aggressive know-it-all? The aggressive know-it-all, uh, you go to Machu Picchu, and they went to Machu Picchu. They, these people, their trips were better. It was more exciting. Oh, you don't understand, and the weather, and whatever story you tell, whatever you share, these people have better stories, better experiences, or it may not have even happened to them. It could have happened to her best friend or his buddy that he knows that's traveled all over the world and you're kind of thinking who cares but these individuals will just try to top you and make whatever you're talking about seem insignificant compared to their fantastic experiences and they're so much better they are so much better than you are <laughs> and if this is a difficult person at work that's aggressive, they're doing everything, this individual may be doing everything to discredit your work. And I hesitate to say he, because it could be a he or a she. Okay, so I'm gonna give you six secrets that even the top diplomats uh, know and use, and you could use too, to your best advantage. Because getting on the same level with an aggressive know-it-all is really not going to do you any good and could hurt you at work or even in your social life or with your family members. So let's do things in a way that we can feel good about ourselves, proud of our behavior, and um, be able to do the right thing. Okay, so number one, you want to have compassion. These individuals typically are insecure, they have uh, self-esteem issues. Otherwise, why all the bravado? Why do they need to constantly prove to you how much better they are than you are? Number two, you wanna pick your battles. They typically are relentless in their ability to outdo you, tell a better story. So to save your own energy and also to have people, because usually there's an audience around, so you know, you want to choose your battle so it looks like you have class, you deal, you know, you're an elegant person and you handle yourself in the right way. So, you know, the fact that you restrain from reacting to this individual and you only respond when you feel it absolutely necessary it says a lot about you as a person so that's that's where I'm coming from on that one be ready to cite your source <laughs> what is this an exam is this a, a written essay it feels like it with the aggressive know-it-all because they these individuals are always trying to, I mentioned it before, discredit you or uh, invalidate some of the information that you have. So when you can cite your source or explain where you learned this information or state facts, figures, statistics, reference a graph, a chart, something really tangible and not just an opinion, 
you establish yourself as an authority on the subject and you may even discredit this individual or at least prevent this person from continually uh, going after you and you will no longer be that much of a target to this individual because their whole th these people what they want to do is look good they want to uh, show how smart they are they you know and if cutting you down helps them to look more intelligent and, and smarter then that's what they're gonna do all right number three number four actually is ask probing questions. Uh, so when they're coming at you with all this info, really, where did where did you learn that? And the trick to it is, you've got to come at it with curiosity, genuine curiosity, not really. Where did you learn that? Not that sarcasm. Not that. You know, it it just is going to take away from your credibility. So you want to ask with genuine curiosity. Wow, I've never heard that before, and I've, I've researched this for years, or I've been, um, you know, to classes on this, or this is what I studied, and you're citing your source, and then you want to ask, where, where did you get this information from, or has that been your experience? Because that's not been my experience. But again, the key to it is, is genuine curiosity, and uh, yeah. Number five, if you absolutely can't seem to get through to this person, and typically the aggressive know-it-all likes the audience, like I mentioned, have the conversation in private. So number five is have the conversation in private, which is, hey, uh, when you get a chance, I need to, to talk to you privately, or I, I need to go over something with you just one-to-one -one when, you, when you have some um, time. And then you want to talk to this individual and say, hey, what, what's going on? Because it just seems like whenever I explain something, you are um, contradicting what I'm saying. And am I getting that right? Or what's going on here? Again, you've got to come at it with genuine curiosity and really ask the question. Otherwise, you might back this individual into a corner. And when you back an animal, let's say, I, I know I'm equating this person with an animal, not really, but it happens with human beings too. When you back an animal into a corner, what happens? It comes out fighting. <laughs> People are the same way. So the best thing to do is to come at it with genuine curiosity, do it privately so there's no audience, and just really ask, I just want to understand what's happening here, or is this just my perception? And uh, if the individual absolutely denies it at all times, say, listen, would it be okay if the next time you do it, I just say, hey, you know what we talked about? Yeah, that's, that's happening again. And then number six, you want to use humor. And this has helped me so much in, in my life, especially dealing with all kinds of difficult people. So the know-it-all um, who is always coming up with a better story, giving you a fact, figure, statistic, which usually contradicts something that you've just said. <laughs> you could say, wow. Okay, I, had, I hadn't heard that, but you really seem to know your stuff. You, and again, don't do it with sarcasm. You've got to come at it with genuine feelings. You, you really do your research. Boy, you are a bookworm. You must spend all your time uh, researching this information. I definitely want you on my team the next time I play Trivial Pursuit. Something like that. All right, well... Uh, thank you for watching my videos and I am excited to see what you're going to say in the comments. If you feel that this video not only helps you but might help somebody you know, share the video. I know some of you are going to be tempted to share this video with the aggressive know-it-all in your life and they might even not, not, those individuals might not even realize that, oh, are they talking about me? <laughs> but share the video. I hope I can help as many people as possible. Thanks for watching my videos.